kind of taken over a, a stage that was typically two-thirds to even half the size of a classroom. And this space is actually one of the largest rooms in the new building. So, you know, when, when someone says you've got music on a stage, that's true. However, it is a classroom that is placed on the stage. And the space that's available for music is probably about double what we have in any of the, the current music room. So, you know, we're able to have keyboards, movement space, teaching space, storage space. So it's probably one of the nicest rooms in the entire building. The new buildings all have the um, portable walls, um, I guess. You know, so 90% of the time this space will be closed off from the rest of the building. Uh, the, the movable wall, not portable, movable wall actually has a dry erase board built into it. So again, it's designed as a classroom space and you know, with, with having the cafeteria just on the other side, which we typically do in other buildings, there won't be the noise that we typically have. Usually we, we try not to schedule gym and music at the same time because now we share cafeteria and gym space. We don't have that problem anymore, so we can actually have music, lunch, and gym going on at the same time with no disruption whatsoever. It gives them their own space. I mean, they've typically shared space with, with the cafeteria, with the lunch, and I, I think you can probably ask every gym teacher at the elementary level, and most principals, they've had a mop in their hand at some time helping to clean up after lunch so that the, the one o'clock gym class can get in there right away, or you know, we've had the giant fans drying the floor so that none of the kids you know, slipped in a, a water spot. So you know, sometimes we've had to delay gym because lunch ran long or there was a spill right at the end of lunch. Um, the other part, again, just having their own space. They can leave PE equipment set up if they design a lesson that they're going to use throughout the day. They can leave the equipment set up, the cafeteria. We can leave the table set up for some extended learning space. Probably the majority of the time the tables remain down in the cafeteria so teachers can use those for, for teaching spaces. It's going to be amazing. You know, I think when the, when the staff and students walk into these buildings those first couple of days, it's just a, a huge boost for the, for the kids, and that's the important thing. And in the community, too, I, you know, I've noticed people driving by this building in particular and just stopping and pointing and looking. And when we've done the building tours, you know, the word I heard uh, more than anything was just wow. You know, they're not over the top. They're what we need, but they're spectacular. I mean, the, the planning committee and everyone did a great job. And, uh, you know, the kids are just going to be so excited to walk into these buildings.